guys, so I haven't really done a favourites video in quite a few months now. I don't actually know when the last time I did one was, but I thought that I really should get stuck into it seeing as it is now March. How has it even happened? I don't know. So what I thought I would do is that I'd do a combined favourites, so a January and February favourites, but I thought I'd separate into three categories this time. Um, I've got my makeup favourites, my fashion favourites and my entertainment favourites. As you might be able to see here, these are my favourites. The first two that I'll start off with are actually brushes. Both foundation brush, bleh, both foundation brushes, both disgustingly dirty. Sorry about that. Couldn't be bothered cleaning them for you, unfortunately. Okay, so I have sort of divided these two brushes into my kit brush and my personal brush because I was using this for both and I'm sick of cleaning it all the time. So as much as I absolutely love this brush and using it on myself, I thought that it's better if I just keep it for my clients, it'll last a little bit longer. And I've got this brush which does a really good job anyway. So this one is a Hakahodu brush. A lot of people have been asking me what this one is. Now I can't remember the exact, exact name but I will pop it in the description below along with all of the other products that I'm talking about. You pretty much just brush it all over your face. I'm from Hakahodu, it's a Japanese brush and I absolutely love it. Amazingly amazing at buffing the foundation into the skin and making it look really really flawless. And for my personal use I have fallen in love with the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. So this has become my foundation brush again. It used to be before I bought this one and a few others that are in my kit. But this is my main one at the moment. Speaking of foundations, I did a review on the Wake Me Up foundation from Rimmel uh, about a week ago and I popped that on my channel. That was my previous video and I have fallen even more in love with this foundation. Definitely recommend it to anybody that has dry skin because it is quite moisturising. Next thing I have is a mascara and I have heard really, really good things about this mascara. I have been wanting to try it out for a really long time. I went and got my eyebrows tinted and waxed at the Benefit Brow Bar. Absolutely loved it. Had a great experience from there. And they pretty much made me buy this. I mean, I, I really wanted it in the first place, but they just kind of tipped me over the edge. Which was good, because I am so glad, because I absolutely love this mascara. Um, the wand on it is really, really good. It's sort of like a, a silicon wand. It's really good for really getting into your lashes and separating them. So I really, really like the wand on this one as well as the formulation. Probably one of my favourite so, um, mascaras I've ever used. Next thing is a lip product and this is the NARS Angelica Lip Gloss. This is a mini one. I actually got this in a set with my NARS Laguna Bronze Duo. So I bought it off Strawberry Net. It was a Laguna and Angelica Blush Duo and then they had the lip gloss as well. I am not a fan of lip gloss in general. I just don't like the way it feels on my lips and it feels really sticky. But I tried the NARS ones and I really, really like the formulation of this. It sits on your lips really nicely. It stays on there quite a while. So I have been loving this lip gloss. Next up, I have two MAC products. The first one I think I have had in quite a few of my favourites over the past six months or however long I've had this channel. And this is Black Track, their fluid line. Really, really like the formulation and I just think that it goes on my eyes really nicely. It doesn't flake off, doesn't crack. Doesn't do anything bad, I just really like it. Really long lasting as well. And this is a cream colour base in pearl. I always put this pretty much every single morning on my, um, just on my cheekbone and then blend it up towards my temple or just underneath my temple. Um, also put a tiny bit on my cupid's bow and some just in the inner corner of my eye. And it really does make a difference to your makeup. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. I think this would suit a lot in tones because it is a very neutral colour. And the last product that I have in my beauty favourites is actually a cream. Now, I was... Okay, how do you put this? I was slightly intoxicated and fell down a large flight of stairs at my friend's house. And I got two unbelievably painful, huge, disgusting looking bruises on my legs. One I got on my outer thigh area and it was literally this big. 
like and blue and it changed colors every single day it was really funny to watch but great for my makeup i took a whole heap of photos and when i start learning special effects i'm gonna try and like recreate it and then i also had one all the way down my leg it was just like it's probably about that long um and it was just like this huge line of bruise just down my leg i kind of slid down the stairs anyway getting off that story I was talking to one of the ladies at my makeup and she was saying that there's a cream called Arnica cream that you rub on and it really helps the bruise to sort of hurry along in the process of it like unclotting or whatever. So this is the cream that I got and it's the Arnica cream and it says for temporary relief of bruising, sprains and minor sports injuries and this is from Martin's, Martin and Pleasance amazing it seriously it sped the process of my bruise healing along so much started putting this on and literally within days it was really reducing significantly so i would highly recommend this to anybody who has some pretty mofo bruises that they need gone before a special occasion buy some of this stuff so that's it for my beauty favorites now i'm gonna go on to my fashion favorites i have a few not all that many but some. The first thing I'm actually wearing, and it's this cardigan that I have on at the moment. I bought this at Sports Girl. I really can't be bothered showing you a full body image. I'm that lazy tonight. But it's a really cute cardigan. It's quite long. It's got these little pockets at the bottom, which are really cool. And it's just really, really warm and comfortable. And I got it at half price, or so it was $100, so I got it for $50, which is awesome. Um, actually, no, I got it for $40 because it was $80. That's right. So my next favourite is this necklace, which is from a company called Tequila Designs. They sort of design a whole heap of really bright, colourful, really out there statement pieces, which are awesome. You guys should definitely check them out. I'll put their link in their down bar below. This is one of their pieces and I am so in love with this. It's the coolest thing ever. It has been amazing for the really, really hot days that we've had lately because when I'm wearing something really plain and I can't be bothered wearing colourful stuff, I can pop this on with just like a black t-shirt and some shorts and it just completely brightens up the outfit. And I've absolutely loved this for the past two months that I've had it. They're all handmade in Australia and they have some, like, some of the coolest stuff. Like, there's another one called the Toot Garoot and they have, like, awesome names as well. So one's Baby Toot Garoot and then the Toot Garoot and it's just, like, these really, really cool necklaces. And I really, really want to grab one of those. So definitely check them out. I'll pop a little um, thing here of what they're called. Uh, check them out on Instagram and Facebook because they do have um, a whole heap of pictures of all of the stuff and it's really not all that expensive either. But it's really great stuff, all handmade and it's amazing. I am in love with this necklace and I'm definitely planning on getting a whole heap of stuff from them really, really soon as well. My last beauty favourite is actually a pair of shoes and these are shoes that I have literally worn to death. I've only had them for about three months but... As you will soon see, they are so dirty. <laughs> These are from Mimco and I can't remember what they're called, but um, I don't think you can buy them anymore because they're all sold out. But I am so in love with these shoes. It is ridiculous. Like, I have worn them so many times with so many different outfits and they just go with everything. I'm absolutely in love with this mint green colour. They call it Seafoam, this particular bluey green. And I don't know, I don't even know what to say about these shoes. I'm more than in love with them and I hope that they never break or that I never have to throw them away because I love them. But yeah, I, they're so dirty because I wear them to work like every, oh, I used to wear them to work every single day. But we've just got our winter shoes in, so. Well, I don't get to wear these to work anymore, but I wear them all the time outside of work anyway. Now, moving on to entertainment favourites, I have a favourite TV show, a favourite movie, a favourite magazine, and a, fa and a favourite app that I have been loving these past two months. First one, I will go with a movie, which I saw last night, which was Django Unchained, and it was such a good movie. I went with Ben last night, we went on a little dinner date, and then halfway through dinner, we were like... Let's see a movie. <laughs> like, so we quickly like scoffed down our dinner and then like went to the cinema and just made it to their last viewing for that night. So yeah, we went and saw that and it was so funny. I can't even believe how funny it was. Like such a good movie, so witty. Quentin Tarantino, it's 
amazing like such a great movie so if you guys are looking for something that's really funny it's got heaps of blood and guts heaps of action just an all-round good movie I definitely recommend to go see it. it's not just a boys movie but this one was just really really good my next favorite is actually a magazine and I only found out about this a couple of weeks ago it's an amazing magazine and it's called in beauty it's pretty much a makeup and hair magazine primarily makeup and it pretty much shows all of the makeup trends that are going on in all of the very high profile fashion runways in all of the major fashion cities so Paris, London, New York etc etc and it just has amazing amazing stuff in it. It's all unedited, um, it's pretty much just been snapped backstage and it's just such a cool magazine and there's so many photos. It is really expensive. This one cost me $56, which is crazy. This has just completely opened my eyes to all of the different things that you can do with makeup and how different, how different the makeup on the runway is. In terms of my favourite TV show, it has been True Blood. If you want sort of a synopsis of True Blood, it is an, like an R-rated version of Vampire Diaries. It has a lot of very naughty things going on there, um, but it has a lot of the issues that aren't just like teen drama stuff, like it has a lot of real world issues going in on it and it's extremely entertaining, very funny and just a good time. It's just good to watch. Lots of pretty faces. Uh, in terms of apps, definitely Pinterest has been my favourite one this or oh, the past two months. I probably only got it about a month ago and it is such a great site or app for getting inspiration for makeup and lots of other things as well fashion any kind of pictures that you can think of they'll have it on this app so it's just the one with the P just here and when you open it pretty much just has like lots of photos and stuff and you guys can follow me my things makeup with poppy surprise surprise all of my stuff is makeup with poppy it's really great for gathering photos and things that you think are amazing and that really inspire you and I love to pop them into different folders especially for the different components that I'm learning in my makeup course at the moment to be able to have reference images and lots of different ideas of different makeup Things that you can do, it really helps you to create your own ideas and your own inspirations of, um, of things or projects that you might want to do in the future. So I've definitely found Pinterest to be extremely helpful with that. Anyway, um, that is it for my January and February combined favourites. Hope you guys liked this video. Sorry, I think I did draw it out for a bit longer than expected. Uh, if you guys have any comments, any questions, anything you want to ask me, leave it in the comments below. Um, also, add me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Why not just chuck that in there as well? Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will speak to you all later. Bye!